Do you see your face? Look how silly you look. <laughs> hey, my friends. Sorry for the two week delay in videos. We've just been working really hard. It didn't help that my camera broke and then I had to mail it to Canon and spend a bunch of... <laughs> But it's fixed! Heads up, there is gonna be a giveaway at the end of this video. Let's we'll start this multi-week vlog off with September 6th. I usually edit until like 12.30 or 1 on Friday nights, but then I started working on Rex's kitchen, the one I've been complaining about that I needed to assemble. I just finished and it's 3.32 a.m. This Kid Craft kitchen is the cutest thing on the planet, but don't buy it unless you want to spend three hours assembling. I really wanted to surprise Rex and have him wake up and there's like this kitchen in there for him to play with and he's like Ooh, and just see his face and you know the things you do when you're a parent which brings us to September 7th Duh. Rex how do you like your kitchen he keeps doing laps he's excited <laughs> we need to sort through your toys bud and get rid of a lot wow bud do I need to sit here and look at it with you okay <laughs> can you call someone ring ring okay. hello okay. Okay. <laughs> He just put the cow in the oven. Are you making a steak, honey? I just want to get a quick before shot of the office because we're working on it. I've been organizing my closet and trying to stage it. She still needs some work. This is all donations and the car is full, but we're going to try doing room by room. So spackling and painting and staging and then move on to the next one. If you didn't know, when my dad passed away, my mom actually started getting the house ready for sale and that was like eight years ago, but she didn't know where she wanted to go. So now she finally is putting it on the market. So we've been working hardcore on it for months. I got all the walls spackled. I got all the marks off the floor. Last thing to do in this room is paint and a little more cleanup. Just got a hold of my chapstick and put it all over the washer and dryer. Can you see this? Oh, I have so much cleanup to do. Uh, September 8th, more just working. I've emptied out this trunk and packed it up, emptied out that trunk. We have to lock Rex in this room because we have a handyman here right now and he's installing a chandelier for mom. I got Rex this shoe where he could learn how to tie his shoelaces and he's trying to put it on. <laughs> Honey, that's not what it's for. We are outside today working on the vegetable garden. It used to be vegetables and now it's all flowers, but we got weeds, so before shot. Rex, are you growing a beard? Can I see, you got dirt beard? Let's see. <laughs> Come here, I wanna show everyone your beard. Can I see? Wow. Yeah, look at that dirt beard. Pirate dirt beard, Arr. Nothing like some soil in the morning. Do you still my buy water? I forgot to film the garden when we finished. We had a handyman here for two days and he got so many little random things done, like installed electronic doorbell and just things like that. One of the things they did was put in this chandelier. Yay, now we see to clean up the rest of the room. One of my latest obsessions is this bag. It's by the Coach Western line. I think it was from last year. I got it on Macari and just, I love studs. Studs and rivets. Thrifted Chloe sunglasses. I showed you guys these last week. Why do people do this? Yeah! You wanna say hello to everyone? What do you wanna say? Boop. Do you touching them? Boop. Do you see how much his face is changing? Are you touching them? Boop. It's like an E.T. thing. Where's your finger? I only removed nail polish on one of my hands. I'm doing really good today. We're gonna go pick up my boots, so I'm a two boot wonder. Right? Two. No, one. Two. Right? One, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I would love six pairs of boots. Okay. <laughs> okay. When I was in the boot shop, this woman's like, oh, your boots are really cute. She's like, oh, they're free bird. I have some free people stuff in my store. And I was like, where's your store? She's like, Old Town. So now we're going to Old Town Conwood. <laughs> the store was a bust. They had one shirt. She lied. I lost my mom and Rex, but I think they're probably in the antique store. And why am I so dark? Come on, camera. Nah, that's better. We're gonna skip to the 12th. I'm heading right now to Patricia. Not Patricia, I've been saying it wrong. Patricia Vega. We're gonna do just like a ponytail with some clips in my hair. And I didn't have a t and it didn't went. And I ran out of time to do my hair because Rex is just like, 
He is such a good kid, but he's definitely going through a little bit of the terrible twos and throwing tantrums and I just have to like sit there and hold him or wait it out and my nerves get raw though. <laughs> Again, he's a really good kid. He just, why, you know, he thinks he's the boss and I'm the boss and we're having a little bit of a power struggle right now, which is so hard as a parent because you don't want to like discipline your child. You know, I don't want to have to sit there with him and just like, you know, hold him until he calms down, but uh. we're de-frizzing. <laughs> Guys, we're done. <laughs> You're so talented, look at this. Do you think we should get an after shot? Why am I blue, hold on. <laughs> I'm not blue, I'm orange with happiness, come on. There we go, look at my shirt, guys. <laughs> Duh. We just did a pony and I put these fun little word clips in. You wanna get a shot again? Yes, sir, okay. will. Okay, ba ba boom, ooh la la. So, I don't know what it says, but it says something here. Hello kiss babe. Hello kiss babe, ooh. What am I trying to tell you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just got my eye makeup on in the car and I used this Infallible Paints by L'Oreal. I got it at Walgreens and it's really pretty. <laughs> I've been wanting to get more like colored liquid liner and not just black. Like actually be adventurous and try new things. Risk taker right here. Now I'm gonna go get Rex and mom. Took some photos on my phone because my camera was still broken. Which brings us to Friday the 13th. It wasn't scary at all. We are in Phoenix. We're going to junk in the trunk. It's our twice a year, like amazing, hopefully mom find stuff to buy event. We usually do pretty good. Rex really wants to get out of the car. We're almost to the exit. Um, these are my latest thrifting find. They're Native American sterling and turquoise and they're just, they're cool. And because we're super nerds, it opens at four. We're gonna be like parked probably by three and just like get in line. Or one of us gets in line and then I bring Rex later because it's hot out and we leave the car running. So we have this down to a system. We made it to Westworld. There's already a bunch of junk hunters standing right there waiting to go in. We made it to the inside. Come on, Rexy. We all have a half an hour to go. We already found one thing at the antique show. It fits really nicely in the cart. <laughs> hey. We are finally in. We always pay to get in on Friday night because Saturday and Sunday is just a madhouse. Like you cannot even get through and people are aggressive. It's not me. <laughs> if you need a hat, mom's an antique blue. We have Cabbage Patch dolls. Grandma made her first purchase, a shell. Rex is out of the stroller, be warned. We found this really cool stool and a blue carrier and a shell. So we're going up. Juliana, hey! She wanted to be in the video and I said okay. Hi. Bye girl. I love you. We just found this stand for 15. Score. I just bought a pink bench for $15. They have a free photo camper. It was really nice to take a break and get out of the house after literally weeks of just working on the house. We just went to Menchie's and got frozen yogurt. I don't think he wants some. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're game. Skip again to last Sunday. My mom has been painting. Look at the hallways. Looks so nice. You've done a lot. How late were you up to last night painting? Like 10? Yeah, because one of us has to watch Rex. She's already entirely painted this room. We just have to stage it. We got this rack hung up that we got at Junk in the Trunk, but the bed's not centered. All my tubs will go to the garage during showings. And I'm gonna take Rexy to the park so Grandma has more time to paint because toddler and paint do not mix. Every time I think I'm gonna take Rex to the park, this happens. He doesn't nap normally, only on park days. I have his swim trunks, I have a towel, I put on sunscreen, I have snacks and food for him. How does he know? Monday I was gonna show the park who's boss and I tried again. Snack time. I got in new shoes for Rexy from Jakati because his feet are getting bigger. Yeah, you're a stylish kid. Last night while I watched Rex, my mom got the entire hallway painted. Now we have the main bedroom because we already did the other bedroom and then um, maybe the dining room area and a little bit in the kitchen and we're done with painting. I bought Rex a Mickey suitcase on Amazon and now he insists on bringing it with him everywhere. He just rolls it around and around. Rex has been running for over an hour. I think it's going well. <laughs> Screaming ad running. <laughs> I think he's starting to get tired. That was mine. Two hours at the park. It was a success. He's worn out now. I really want an SAE bowl, so I'm gonna call one in. And then I'm worn out too. Just chasing him. Because the problem is Rex always wants to play with the big kids. So I have to make sure that they don't run into him or step on his fingers. If they're like, you know, if he's trying to climb behind them or it's a lot of like hovering. Until he gets a little older, I'm just like 
<laughs> right in his face. Tuesday, I had a babysitter, so. I'm painting. Working on this wall in the garage. I've done that part so far. And yep, yep, I'm all in. <laughs> Stop like every 10 or 15 minutes and get more paint. Paint can opener. These come in handy. If not, you can use like a flathead screwdriver. Pour some more into the tray. Oh yeah, shoot, we're gonna make other paintbrush. Ugh, oh, it gets everywhere. Clean this off up here. I gotta put the lid back on so the paint doesn't dry out. Done. If we ever was lost before. This wall is done. Now I'm going to this wall. You taping? Necklace, beard, charades, purple pirate. Wednesday. Not you. We got the shelf put in. Ta-da! We're going through stuff in the living room and I just found, let's see. I did this piece in high school. I think it was my first one with colored pencils. This is my first experimentation with colored pencils. Oh yeah, I drew that when I was in seventh grade. The sun, can you turn it a little bit? There we go. There's a little mini me and my brother. Another one I drew in 1996. I did very few drawings that were like real life and then I went to abstract. My grandmother painted this. I did this one in high school. Another one from high school and it kind of looks like Voldemort. <laughs> I was ahead of my time. My parents kept everything that I drew and framed it. You okay? You okay? Oh, honey. Honey, you okay? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. He did not like Voldemort. Smart kid. Then my Aunt Lil needle pointed this. Look what came in. I had never heard of this company. It's called Whiskey Lee Designs. I think it's a woman. And she makes these custom purses. I know she sells it like rodeos, but look, so much fringe. You can wear it on one shoulder or let's see, cross body, which is probably what I'll be sporting. It's literally absolutely amazing. <laughs> like this is an old belt. I think she might've put, I don't know if she put the conchas on there. And this is from an old horse harness. You can see she took it off, so. Finally, my skin is looking better. I kind of took a break from filming because I went on Altrino, right? and it brought out every breakout that was gonna happen on my skin, period, and just like, so I had like teenage really bad acne covering my jaw, and I just didn't feel like filming. I just wanted to hide. I was like Quasimodo in the tower, and only 4% of people have peeling. I've been peeling. I've been peeling right here and around my nose, and a little bit like on my neck where I've gotten some on accident. But the difference being on a retinoid, like I would never get the camera this close. You can see that it's really really clearing. I'm in my 30s, it's time, like, it's time. Rex has on his feather fur arrow pants and the shirt. You're so cute. I am digging this rainy day weather. Loving it. Finally sweater weather. I always really want sweater weather and then I get sick of winter really quickly and I want summer again. I can't make up my mind. When people eat and talk, is that annoying? <laughs> Tough. I'm eating a mint, okay? You're not supposed to chew on it. It's probably bad for your teeth. Oh my gosh, these squish mallows are so cute. Look at the unicorn one, they're so fluffy. They're like extremely therapeutic just to squeeze. <gasps> There's a mermaid one. They have little ones, I could get a matching set. <laughs> I put them back, like the good adult that I am, walking away. <laughs> His arms are too full. Whoa, oh, yeah. We just got caught in the rain and I'm soaking wet. The whole entire car is wet. It just like flooded. Normally she has to water for two hours every night. So whenever there's a break, it's like, thank you, Jesus, amen. And Thursday morning, we went to look at a house that my brother Robert is flipping. Oh, someone just had a smoothie. Who's that guy? Do you see? Do you see your face? Look how silly you look. <laughs> I'm all dressed up to go to the post office. Welcome to my life. See, we're making progress in the living room. That table's gonna go. That all the stuff's gonna go. All the stuff's getting stored. This looks better. The lava's gonna go. We are so freaking close 
to being done. We pretty much, we done. Like we done, just not much left, and then we done. Got my whiskey Lee bag on. And I finally found where she sells. It's on Instagram because her Etsy store isn't really active or her Facebook. But Instagram, you should go look. You'll see why I'm obsessed. So we're down at the barn doing a little bit of work. Grandma's digging out the ditch and Rex found the only place with mud on the property. We're gonna have to hose you down, kid. You got Mickey Mouse in the mud? That's just sacrilegious. Oh my gosh, and that car too. A friend of ours came and got the horse troughs. So I've just been moving cinder block, more stuff to get rid of and just clean things up. And that is a very basic and simple summary of my past three weeks. Next week, we are meeting with real estate agents. Ah, finally! And as promised, I'm giving away my Allure beauty box and it has something from Laura Mercier and it has La Roche, La Roche, Ciate, a cure, perfect smooth conditioner, perfect smooth shampoo by Nature Lab Tokyo, and a $100 gift card to Sephora. Head on over to this photo on Instagram and leave me a comment about one of your hidden talents, like can you burp 50 times in a row or hold your like breath hold your water hold your breath for 5 minutes underwater or can you tap dance like time to show off let me know weird cool talents that you have go brag see you next week and i have to get back to this so roll on out of here bye it's not